for starting with what do you mean by CT scan and how CT scan is done, what is the principle and how you are going to read. Let us first see what is the difference between the X-ray and the CT scan. So X-ray is basically a 2D image of a 3D structure. Our human body is a 3D thing and X-ray is one two dimensional thing. So we get a two dimensional or 2D print of a 3D body. So what happens just see over here. So this is a human body, right? We have our film over here and this is the source of X-ray. This X-ray hits the human body and depending on the density and the degree of X-ray passing through and through the structure, you get the film. But what happens, uh, what is the drawback of X-ray is, for example, we have a abnormal translucency over here in the X-ray. This abnormal translucency can be because of any of the structure present between these two lines. Any of this structure, any abnormality can cause the translucency. You can't pinpoint. You can pinpoint the level or probable, uh, what you can say the probable level or probable site. But you can't get the absolute site, site for this translucency. But whereas in city, as you can see in this image, the person is lying down and this is our extra tube. This extra tube hits the person's body at a specific level at T2, T3, T4, T5, any specific vertebral level, this structure, this x-ray hits and you get the scan. So this is the adva uh, advantage of CT over a x-ray. So how does basically the CT works? So city works like this. Let me show you this video. You can see that extra tube is extra tube and the detector are moving in circular motion and covering each and every angle in 360 degree of that specific level. See once again, it is moving in circular motion and covering every angle in 360 degree. So what happens if this is a human body? Okay, if this is a human body and we have this is side A, this is side B, so these are the four quadrants and we have abnormality over here. So what happens as those extra tube moves around the 360 degree, that abnormality get hit by the x-ray at all the different levels. Since it is exposed by all the 360 degree, you can pinpoint the abnormality through the CT scan. Right, because it is a 3D print of a 3D structure. So this is how the CT scan works. CT scan is computer tomography. Tomography means slice or the section. Tomo is a Greek word. So to, since we are getting the imaging of a particular size, slice or the section of the body, hence we call it as a computer tomography. CT scan stands for computer tomography. Now let us see the density and the structures. In CT scan, we have hypodense structure and hyperdense structure. What do you mean by hypodense structure? Hypodense structure are basically those which allows the X-ray to pass through and through. And the most hypodense structure is air. And this air appears black on the CT scan. Whereas the hyperdense structure does not allow to beam, allow the X-ray beam to pass through it, and hence the most hyperdense structure is bone, and it allow uh, it appears white. Right? You can see this is a CT uh, CT thorax. So these are the lungs, and since those are lungs, it is black in color. Right? These are lungs and this 6 and 7 structure is the bronchus. Bronchus are filled with air, lungs are filled with air, hence these are black. And here if you get any type of translucency or any type of white structure appearing, that is an abnormal structure. You can pinpoint it which quadrant of lung it is. Lung it is. And then we have our hyperdense, hyperdense structure that is bone. And here the, this vertebra. This vertebra is a hyperdense structure, vertebra is a bone, so here it appears white and it is a hyperdense structure. But the problem with the term hyperdense and hypodense is that hyperdense and hypodense is a subjective or quantitative term. It is not qualitative, how much 
is the percentage of hyperdense how much is the percentage of hyperdense to solve this problem we have something called as hu scale this hu scale is a quantitative scale and what does this hu stands for this hu stands for hounds per unit okay and what is the definition of hu mind it each and every word hu is a numerical value it is a numerical value of what of each tissue in the body depending on degree of attenuation degree of attenuation means the degree how the degree or the quantity of rays or the degree of rays which can pass through and through is called as degree of attenuation and how we get this hu it is 1000 into mu x minus mu water divided by mu water minus mu air and what does this mu stands for mu stands for linear coefficient of attenuation okay and one thing or the mcq which is most likely to ask the mcq on this hu scale is that hu scale is only and only majorly affected or dependent on this linear coefficient of attenuation okay now after this before seeing the vari vari variance of this hu scale first see how this scan is obtained or what is basically a ct scan you get on in the hands so considering this as a human body we are going to divide this human body into different squares like this and ct scan is basically the this one square this one square or the ct scan is basically collecting the data of hu scale of this one specific square the hu in it unit of one specific square adding all of these square you get a ct scan so hu scale scales helps its importance and hu scale is different for each structure so we are going to see how this what is this hu unit for different or hu for different soft tissues or tissues in the body so the value of Hounsfield unit is varies from plus hundred plus thousand to minus thousand. This plus thousand is for cortical bone. This zero is for water, and this minus thousand is for air. Right, somewhere in the middle we have plus thou plus hundred, and this plus hundred is for acute hematoma, and here minus hundred is for fats right fats not fats fats right see this zero hu of water is a standard it does not vary the hounsfield unit of water is zero but this 1000 100 minus 100 minus 1000 varies this acute hematoma the hu unit the hounsfield unit for acute hematoma can vary from plus 50 200 so it's not specific what specific is the water what is constant it is the hu of water now what happens whenever you have x ray you are going to see the um, translucency hyperlucency whatever you get on x ray you compare it with the surrounding normal tissue but it's not here in this ct scan you compare this hypodense dense or hyperdense structure with either the liver or the gray matter so what is the hu for the liver or the gray matter it's here i'm going to write it in blue 30 to 50 we have liver and gray matter okay so here we have the hyperlucent hyperdense structure we have here hypodense structure so you can say that you might be thinking that water must be isodense no water is not isodense water is hypodense okay so you are going to say water is hypodense okay so here we are done with the 
achieve skill. Now let us see this loaf of bread. Here we have loaf of bread sliced. Same is the CT scans at different layer. You get slice of that particular structure of particular region. So one slice of bread, one scan. Two slice of bread, two different uh, two scans at different level. So here we can um, correlate the slice of uh, or the scans at different level with the slice of bread. Now let us move towards the most important part. How you are going to read a CT? How you are going to read the CT scan? First of all, you need to hold the CT scan in proper way. It should not be up, upside down. It should not be um, forward or backward. Like from you are viewing the back side, you are not viewing the front side. The best thing is whenever you hold a CT scan, see the name of the patient, the age of the patient, the gender of the patient. And if it appears proper and it is from left to right, you are holding the CT scan properly. After that, you need to search for the proper source of light. You can use the one the light screen or you can have the natural source of light, anything which is comfortable and hold it in front of the proper source of light. That is how to decide whether it's left side or right side. This is the most asked question I got on my Instagram channel that um, whether it's right or left. Hope, keep this one thing in mind. You are right is the scans left okay so this is a scan okay and this is your right and this is your left your right is a scans left so this is the left and this is the right opposite okay so whichever structure is on your right side is the left side of uh, is the left side structure of the scan so this is the side left and right side now let us move towards the what are the normal structure and appears on the structures present in the scan so i have seven different scans at different level one is t2 t3 t4 t5 t6 so i'm going to cover those in each of the lectures so 